Obaseki, governor of Edo State, said bill to ban open grazing to Edo Assembly. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. He asserted that the bill had been slated for consideration on a later date to give room for more consultation and other recommendation by members. So all of a sudden, the governor of Edo State is coming out after the Edo citizens have actually come out and they have been made to go through some certain things. In case you've not heard or in case you don't know, in Edo State right now, some communities are under serious Fulani headers invasion. They rape these people's women. Their farmers can no longer go to farm. A lot of things go on in that community. A lot of things go on in that community. And just now, he is coming out to sign the bill. Well, I think it's a step in the right direction. Bill that some southern governors have signed since when? Since late last year, at least since that's, 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 that's September, October period. They signed this bill into law, if not before then. Let's find out more the news in detail. Please stay with us. A bill for a lot to prohibit open grazing of cattle and other livestock in the state have been sent to the Edo State House of Assembly, EDHA. The Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki sent the 24 corpus bill to the House on Tuesday. Speaking during the plenary on the bill, the Speaker of the House, Marcus Onobo, noted that the bill had been receiving input from members and different stakeholders. He asserted that the bill had been slated for consideration on a later date to give room for more consultation and recommendations by members. Governor Godwin Obaseki had in October give room for more consultation and recommendations by members. Governor Godwin Obaseki had in October assured that a draft copy of the proposed Edo Antigrazing Bill will be sent to the State House of Assembly for legislative consideration before the end of to October 2021. The law which has been passed in some southern states of Nigeria and banned the movement of cattle by headers and public places is a measure of curbing the persistent clashes between headers and farmers. This is where that proverb, a stitch in nine saves lives. I mean, a stitch in, in time saves nine. This is it. It's teaching time. Save nine. Yes. He is doing it very late. If you have not listened to, if you have not come across that article, where these Edo people, not one, not two communities, not even three communities, more than five of them, they were complaining so bitterly. The farmer said that their cops have been Every of their crop that the one that the cows, um, their cattle did not eat, these people cut them into pieces. They raped their women. They are fed to go to the pump. Similar thing to what is happening in the north. Very similar. You are there as the chief security officer. You had to wait till this happened. What is even wrong with all these people who call governors and leaders? First of all, just recently, I have to drift a little from the topic. The NNPC boss came out and he was tendering an apology that they did not know that what will happen will happen. And I'm saying, clap for yourself. You elected so that you are going to bring out solutions even before problems. You are going to bring out solutions to problem. And not when a problem happens, you are going to bring out solutions. You're coming out to tend the apology. What will apology do to people's vehicles that have been damaged? To people's generating cells that have been damaged? Do you know how many people who have lost millions in this time? And of course, some people are actually are smiling to the banks in as much as everything is going on. You gave people the right to exploit people, number one. You made Nigerians. What is the crime of Nigeria to these leaders? We don't have government or leaders who are actually proactive. None. And I was asking, okay, you are saying you don't foresee. Does it mean there is no quality check on products coming into the country? Does it mean that? That's what he's trying to say. Now, the governor of Edo State actually came out to do this when Edo people are now crying out. When the deed has been done, 
It is very unfortunate to have such people as leaders who very unfortunate, sincerely. Very commendable. We will allow open grazing if only Arewa will allow us rare pigs in their lands. If they don't want no open grazing, <laughs> you're not serious. Sincerely, this one. He has suddenly waking up after Buhari refused to give him Ruga billions. Only a year governor. Sincerely, I don't even know what they take the people of Nigeria for. What is a crime? I keep asking. Is it a crime to wake up in Nigeria? Is it the crime to become Nigerian? Is it a crime to become a born citizen of this country? You don't know how this name of a Nigerian has, has inflicted so much sorrows, uncountable ones, on people. And it continues happening on a daily basis. Yet somebody will come and say you did not foresee. You are kept there so that you are going to do better. If you are not going to give better, you leave. Sincerely. We have to dialogue with this election coming on, they have to be that thing we call constitution need to be trashed. If you don't do your job, they throw you out. Simple, they impeach you, put somebody who can do the job better. And it's all those strategies that is attracting the whole the whole people to, to the main dish there, to the position. They remove it, strip those things, let the seat be bare. You are not immune if you're on the seat. All those things should be in a new constitution. So that when people go there and misbehave, they know that look, your water is waiting for you. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. To be sincere. Nice move, Governor Baseki. Only th those who have not come across that particular news are the ones saying nice news. People were wailing. People were weeping. They were weeping men. As in, in a dose, recent, that thing happened last week. All of a sudden, he's now weak. All of a sudden, he's now weak and wants to do. And some people who, who have not heard that news are coming to, to help tell him, oh, you're doing, doing what? The only people I can commend are people who actually, that time Southern governors gathered, they did the needful then. That if the full line now come evading, I'm like, okay, these, these people have, have tried to do something about the situation. There are people who signed that bill into law. They did not just sign the bill into law. They raised their own um, security outfit for themselves. Those ones are what I would say commendable. Not the ones who, after the citizens have been affected by whatever, you are not coming out to say commendable. When other states have been since last year, now you just wake up from sleep. Sincerely. And unfortunately, people have paid the price for his negligence and from his, for his um, inability to take the decisions at the right time. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.